Focal point of these preparations is the missile within this launch tube. As it strikes its target with pinpoint accuracy, that moment signals the climax of the most intensive weapons development program in our nation's history. Missile 16 away, all missiles submitted away, second edition 2SQ. Charlie Supervisor, second edition 2SQ. Within hours, this ship, the USS Will Rogers, will have proven her readiness to share with her sister ships the responsibility of nuclear deterrence. The fleet of 41 ballistic missile firing submarines will then be complete. Admiral Smith, over the years, since uh, 1956, you've been able to monitor closely the progress of our FBM program. Just what is it about this nuclear-powered submarine and its 16 Polaris missiles that makes it so important to our national defense? Well, of greatest importance is the dependable capability of these 41 Polaris submarines to assure destruction of a nuclear aggressor as a world power. It is on this that we are depending that the world will never see a nuclear war. The whole concept of nuclear deterrence is based on our conviction that faced with the assurance that his own nation would be destroyed, no other than an insane man would start a nuclear war. We believe that the leaders of the nations of the world are not insane. Admiral, every place we look on this submarine seems to be crammed with panels of blinking lights and gauges and dials and circuits. Now, doesn't all this equipment provide ample opportunity for breakdown? Well, it could. The characteristics which give it the dependable capability for assured destruction do lead to complexity. However, we have been able to design the system so as to be simple to operate. Furthermore, we have demonstrated not only in exercises such as this, but also in exercises on some 420 patrols to date, that the complexity which you have seen does not lead to unreliability. The system is very dependable. Then essentially, do we know that a potential aggressor uh, does appreciate the awesome capabilities of this fleet ballistic missile system of ours? We have very good reason for believing that he understands and knows. He is able to observe the operations that we conduct here. He is able to attempt to locate the submarines at sea. We know that he is not able to locate them at sea. And when Chairman Khrushchev reported to the Supreme Soviet following the Cuban confrontation, he acknowledged that the deployment of the Polaris submarines was a significant factor in the total U.S. force arrayed against him that influenced him to remove Russian missiles from Cuban soil. At dawn on 31 July 1967, in accordance with schedules set months before. The Will Rogers, accompanied by the destroyer Gearing, steamed out of Port Canaveral to fulfill her final pre-deployment performance demonstration. From Cape Kennedy to Ascension Island, Eastern Test Range tracking and telemetry equipment was tuning up. Shortly after 11 a.m., the last seconds of the countdown were being marked off. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. There you go. As those of us aboard this support ship have just seen, and as missile range instruments will verify, the years of development, the months of training, and the weeks of preparation have paid off. 
The Will Rogers and her crew can now look forward to their next milestone, deterrent patrols and their mission of peace. The fleet ballistic missile submarine is a new breed of naval weapon. Never before has the potential of sea power been so strongly exemplified as in the 41 submarines of the fleet ballistic missile weapon system. The USS George Washington, the first of the 41, put to sea on her maiden patrol in the fall of 1960. The USS Will Rogers completes the list heading for her initial patrol in the summer of 1967. The blue and gold crews of the 41 also are of a new breed. Representing a resource of over 10,000 men, they are the most highly qualified and thoroughly trained of any men in uniform today. Their dedication is total. Their responsibility, awesome. Now attention all hands, we are just about to enter the patrol zone. It's mandatory that you maintain the ship in an extremely quiet condition from now until we come out of the patrol zone. Rig ship for patrol quiet. The Fleet Ballistic Missile Weapon System, 41 for freedom, a product of our nation's resolve to thwart aggression, a free world guarantee against the destructive use of nuclear power. <laughs> 